Another senseless shooting, landing a woman in the hospital fighting for her life and another in jail. Police say the two adults mishandled a gun when it was fired. Seven's Brandon Beyer is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital where the wounded woman is being treated this noon. Brandon? And Diana, doctors say they do not expect this woman to make it. She is on life support. They are essentially waiting for her family to arrive. Uh, and then they will get in the uh, process of making some pretty difficult decisions here. But this all happened last night at the intersection, roughly Julia Tuttle Causeway and Alton Road in Miami Beach. Here is some video from that scene. It was, again, Sunday evening. There were four women inside of a car, and they're telling police uh, that they were handling a gun, a 9 millimeter, handing it back and forth to each other when at some point uh, that gun fired. And we have our victim here at the hospital who is now on life support. They do have some charges coming out of this already. And I wanna show you some video you'll see just on one station this afternoon. This is 24 year old Tanria Holt, who police say was one of the four women who were inside this car, again at Julia Tuttle Causeway and Alton Road. And they're telling police they were handling a weapon. Uh, and it sounds like according to police that Holt was handing it to the victim uh, when it was fired, and she is now on life support. I want to show you one more piece of video here, this being Tanria Holt's mugshot. She is in the jail here in Miami-Dade County. She is facing right now, and this could change if, if the situation worsens for the victim, but she's right now facing a charge of culpable negligence. Again, doctors telling police they do not expect this woman to survive, waiting on family to arrive before, again, they start making some tough decisions. For now, we're live at Jackson Memorial, Brandon Byer, 7 News.